All right. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and we're back here today to talk about these little gizmos. And what is this little gizmo? It is the official Sony Bluetooth adapter that you can plug in to your computer so that you can get this to talk to your computer. Now, I will say right off the bat, this is not a one-size-fits-all fix for your PlayStation controller on the PC woes. All this does is handle the Bluetooth communication for you, and it also allows you to use the audio devices because there's a speaker here and there's a microphone jack here on your controller. It just allows you to connect this to your computer wirelessly and use the two audio devices. That's all this does. But it still depends on your game having support already natively for the PlayStation controller. And also, uh, if your game doesn't, having a secondary driver, that's point two, to get the whole thing to work. But I'll show you how this works today so that you understand. And if you want to buy one, you can. I will also add the little note that I bought the Japanese version it's the same thing as the English version, but it's sometimes hard to find these. And when you can find them, they're often more expensive because you're basically importing a specialty electronic directly from Sony in Japan. Just thought you should know. So the way that this works, as I'm sure you're unsurprised, is if I can get my plug here, you need to plug it in to your computer. So we'll just plug it in here to my little USB, and then you can see that the light is glowing. So that's step one. Step two, get your controller ready. There is literally a little, you see this hole back here? Stick a paperclip in there for like 10 seconds. It'll hard reset this so it's not trying to talk to your PS4, or if you have this bad boy, same thing. It's, it's almost in the exact same spot. It's just right here next to the Sony like logo. And then when you're done, we'll pair this like we do with regular Bluetooth. So reset this and then we'll go to the next step. So normally if you're used to the Xbox little dongle, there's a button on the side, right? You press and hold it. It starts to blink. It's ready to be paired. This thing is a button. So you, you literally press down on it and it pushes into the little stick and then it'll start flashing. You see that? That's good. Next up, standard pairing uh, for the controller. You press the share button and the PlayStation button at the exact same time. You press and hold it at the same time, and then this should start flashing on the top. And then, in theory, they should talk to each other. Sometimes it works better than others. So let's try this again. So we'll just... Press and hold for three seconds. One, two, three. And then it should start to flash. And then we'll press and hold the share and the PlayStation button. And then when they're... There we go. So when it's paired, this will light up instead of blinking. And then it will start to... You might not be able to tell in the video. It kind of looks white on my screen when I look over here at the, the preview. But this is supposed to be blue. It's a solid color, and then this is also a solid color. And then if you have your drivers open, it should appear normally inside your drivers so that you can use your PS4 controller or your PS5 controller. It looks like it works for both. In fact, we'll test that here in a second. Let's reset this. Let's unplug this. Where's my pen? My pen of magic resetting. So we'll just hold that in there for like a count of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then that should keep these from talking to each other. Let's test this on the PS5 controller, just because I can. We'll test it live, wherever I stuck it. We got the controller. So first, we'll press this in and hold it for three seconds. One, two, Three, and it's blinking that's good and then for this one same deal this is the share button 
This is the PlayStation button. One, and we'll just hold that. You can see it better on the front if it's actually... Whoops, I was hitting the wrong button. I was hitting the light button? I don't know what that button is. So we'll press and hold that. And then it's blinking. So it's in pairing mode. These, in theory, this should work since these are basically the same thing for connection technology. No? Are we not feeling like connecting, kids? Are we not feeling it? Not feeling the chemistry today? All right, apparently that doesn't work. So now we know. You, don't, you have to buy the correct stick for the correct controller. It's still really lame to me in the grand scheme of things that they never released a good driver that just lets you use your controller for just about anything. But this connection will allow you to play games that have native compatibility with the PS4 controller. They're rare, but they exist. It'll allow you to use it with Steam, and it'll also allow you to use it with DS4 Windows and probably any other driver that you can find that'll map this to your games. I think, yeah, that's all about all I got to share with you. Let's just out of curiosity, just for shits and giggles, Let's repair these two and let's open up DS4 at the same time and see how it does. Okay, so for the sake of argument, we are going to connect this to this while DS4 is open next to me this way, that way, yeah. Just to prove that this kind of works, mostly works. I can't guarantee this will be foolproof, because it's not. This is not made by Sony. This is, this little dongle, but the driver, no. So we're gonna press and hold this for three whole seconds until it starts to blink. Look, it's blinking, everyone's favorite. And then over here, we will press and hold the share button and the PS button at the exact same time. And then they connected almost immediately. So I guess, the PS5 controller doesn't like to talk to this dongle. So now that this is going, let's stop and restart. Okay, so that worked. So I stopped and restarted DS4, and now it shows the Sony stick as being the controller, but it does recognize that a controller is plugged in, and it does appear to allow me to use it. And just to prove that, here's the controller. Let's change the color of this just to prove that I actually can control this. Is that? Well, it is. It's hard. I can't really show you because I'm literally looking at a change over here, but the, the color looks still blue over here. Be okay, let's try a different color. What color can we possibly use that looks more... What about green? Can we do a green? I mean, you can see, okay, you can see it messing around as I twizzle it around. You can see the light freaking out, right? You can see that? Okay, that's fine. That works. Well, you've, we've proven that this is being controlled, even though it doesn't, uh, doesn't show up as well as I wanted to. Fine. It works. It will work for DS4. It'll work for, for Steam, whatever. This has been a brief look at the literally the Sony branded dongle for connecting your PS4 controller to your PC. It works. It does still require your own drivers though, or to play a game with native PS4 controller support. That second thing is probably going to be more rare than I realize. I should actually look up a list of games for you guys so that you will know what's compatible and what's not and link you so you can check in the future. So that'll be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. This has been a brief look at the Literally the Sony PlayStation branded dongle for your PS4 controller. I hope you found this helpful. It works pretty well. It does. It doesn't seem to have a lot of lag problems. It just requires drivers or a game that can use it. So that's it. That'll be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, bye and have a good one.